Hi Gemini, welcome to your February money and career tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Gemini, we're looking at money, work, career, finances, creativity, whatever needs to come out regarding all those energies, I will tell you what I see. So welcome in Gemini. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, male or female general collective reading only take what resonates for you including the signs mentioned and everything you need to know gemini is down below your playlist and list of readings i do here in case you notice i have moved my general type readings from my small channel here all in one place still going to get a ton of love readings just more content on this channel so gemini let's see let me put my glasses on so that i can read so we have the Four of Cups. Your responsibilities may distract you from noticing all the gifts that God is presenting to you. Be open to investigating opportunities that come your way. So Four of Cups is like my block card. So you may be in energy right now where you're kind of discontent um, with whatever you're doing. Just kind of come like dull and boring. Then we have the Ace of Cups here. This could be a new opportunity. So, I mean, this is a love card, but this is a work, uh, money, and career reading. So I would say this is a new opportunity that you are a new beginning that you're absolutely going to love or fall in love with once you, you know, maybe try something new. And we have life experience. So we have the tower here. Important changes are coming into your life that will require you to take action. Don't hesitate to move in new directions you know you know are right for you. So we have 16 there, which is seven can be a little bit stagnate, stagnating energy, although it's a divinely guided energy. So you, that the tower sometimes can be divine intervention, shock, awakening, surprise, a crumbling down, something kind of beyond your control as well. Look at this, we have the magician. Again, two new beginnings here. There is magic in the air. You can manifest everything you need to be successful. So we have Gemini Virgo right here with the Magician. We have Aries with the Tower. I'm kind of feeling like something's going to crumble down here with the Tower. So whether this is the company you're working for or wherever you're working now, say they close down or they have big layoffs or something happens, I feel like you are kind of done with, done with that anyway. You know, you're kind of bored. It's... It's just blah. It's like, you know, I just, I kind of done with this. And at the same time, I feel like there's going to be a crumbling down of that anyway. And this actually now gives you the chance to actually embark on some sort of new adventure, a new career, a new job, a new something here. So definitely here, you got two new beginnings. So let's see where this is going for Gemini. For Gemini, so it's kind of meant to work out this way. I mean, if you were, if you're feeling, or if you are feeling, or you were feeling discontent, bored, blah, like oh my god, I just got to get out of here. I don't, you know, I just can't do this anymore. Not, it could be that maybe it wasn't like overwhelming and stressful. It just was, it was boring. <laughs> you know, it was dull. It was boring. It was an overall expansion. The same thing day in day out. And it's like you know what. I just I need a change. It's kind of what I'm feeling. I need a change. The change is right here with Tower, but you know you kind of put that energy out into the universe here by saying that, manifesting that, and it may have come in a different way. Where I think maybe whatever energy you're working for, I think they're about to maybe close up shop or something big is about to happen or layoffs or something like that. All right, Gemini, so let's see what is going on for you. I think the energy was already in the air anyway, even if you didn't know it, but you were feeling it maybe subconsciously, and maybe that was the universe trying to tell you, you know, it's time to move on because something's about to happen anyway. All right, Gemini. I think the universe was trying to either show you or tell you or get you to move in a new direction because something was about to happen here. I don't feel like you kind of, you didn't really know maybe at the time, 
maybe you do now, but let's see. Queen of Pentacles. Three of Swords. The Knight of Cups in Reverse. The King of Swords. That's you, Gemini. Star. Right in the middle of your spread. Ten of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. Six of Swords. Um, okay, I'm kind of getting the messages, but let me pull them up. The Fool. Oh my goodness. So, let me get one more. The Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh, look at this energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. There's the new path opening up here. I kind of feel like this is the universe right here, the star, trying to nudge you. And I think you maybe were a little stubborn because the Six of Swords in reverse is like not really moving on, just kind of staying stuck or staying where you are. Just like the Knight of Cups in reverse is kind of like not taking action, not really following their heart, their intuition, and letting that lead the way. They're just kind of, you know, just chilling back, I feel. Because I feel this Queen of Pentacles could be the owner of the business. It could be a boss. It could be who was in charge of payroll, supervisor, whatever here, with heartbreaking news here with the Three of Swords. That, you know they can no longer move forward or whatever here with knight of cups in reverse and this is you gemini and i feel like that's you kind of finally either seeing this or getting the news but it's divinely guided meant to be this way and i think this was the universe trying to like nudge you to move you know because you felt it you you didn't know you felt it but you knew that it was time to move on because you weren't happy or you were just like i said bored and discontent with that Four of Wands energy, first card out while it was on the bottom of the deck. But what's divinely guided for you is this Ten of Pentacles, long-term wealth, growth, abundance. And taking a leap of faith here in a new direction, there's a new path opening up for you here. And one that will make you very happy, Ten of Cups. Wow, so let's see, we do have here, besides the uh, signs we had over here with uh, Gemini, Virgo, and Aries, we have Capricorn, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, that's you. Aquarius, again, we are in Aquarius season right now. Queen of Cups. But this, you know, is you, and this can be you, following your heart, your intuition, doing what's best for you, what makes you happy. Nine of Swords. So, could be a little stressful right now, but here's Divine Clarity from Source with the Ace of Swords. So, this is exactly someone's message that... The universe was trying to get you to um, move in a new direction. Justice here, yeah. So things that are meant to be, truth, clarity, justice, balance, getting what we deserve, universal law and order. Look at that. We have the king and the queen of cups. It's going to be like a new business partner uh, working for, let's say, a new boss where you're totally on the same page. You get along great, you know, with the business owner, the new boss. Knight of Swords, more Aquarius energies, like taking action swiftly. That also could be you. Taking action quickly. So that could be you, Gemini, or for me it's Aquarius. And then we have Pisces, Libra, and Cancer. So this Queen of Pentacles, I feel like that's like, this resonates for you because it seems very specific. Um... Well, not, not really. I mean, I guess it could resonate with anyone um, as well. I don't get a sense like you're getting fired. So it could be layoffs. It could be the business is closing or they're starting to close uh, branches or something like that. Um, or different buildings. And it could be like the building you're working at or the department you're working in or the branch or whatever the case may be. All right, so what I want to see here is, um, see, I see this Queen of Pentacles as this energy. So with disappointing news, is that what that is? So I just want to see, um, what can you tell us about that Queen of Pentacles with the Three of Swords? Three of Cups. Death, yeah. They may have like three buildings, maybe. Three branches or three buildings or three franchises or something like, or whatever that means. Maybe they have like three locations rather. And maybe there's the closing one and maybe it's the one you work at, but yet they don't have 
like another position to give you or something like that. So we do have death here and the nine of cups. So definitely not a happy situation, but yet yeah, I think you were, you've been wanting to move on anyway. So let's see, we have uh, Scorpio here with death. So definitely this queen of pentacles is delivering news that it's not good news with the nine of cups in reverse, that maybe a third building or a third department or whatever that three means is being shut down. Actually, we have two threes. So that kind of confirms that. Seven of Pentacles. And this has been a long time coming, but the time is now. And they have to do it now before they maybe have to file bankruptcy or something like that. Yeah, it was a long judgment here with the judgment in reverse. But the decision is like right now, right now. Hmm. Yeah, the world too. So this could mean like different locations as well. And it can also mean closings. All right, and I think they struggled about doing this, but in the long run, it's what they have to do here if they want to continue to be somewhat successful, and not like go under totally. It's kind of what I feel. So let's see, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio, um, Scorpio again. So I want to see what's coming in for you because I feel like you're about to embark on a new venture with the Fool and the star, something divinely guided, wish fulfillment. You got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, both upright. Long-term wealth, growth, abundance, and a very, very happy future here. So what does the future look like here for Gemini? Two of Pentacles in reverse. Whatever this is, I think you're not gonna take long to, to either figure it out or decide where you're going. Six of Wands, so success, victory, so in the devil in reverse. So wherever you're going, it's not going to be toxic, not with the devil in reverse. Um, I don't even know if I could say that word on this platform anymore. They're getting so crazy with censorship. I might just stop calling him the big D. I don't know. I don't know what to call him. So far, I haven't gotten flagged for that, but they're getting crazy, crazy, crazy with their... Um, with this so let's see, just get one more <laughs> might stop calling him stop calling him big d so <laughs> just to tell you how <laughs> censorship blah had a brain bar judgment yeah and i don't think you're going to take long to make up your mind that is for sure there's a magician again gemini virgo so you're definitely moving into bigger better things more money happier outcome you may even meet somebody uh new Maybe, I don't know, sometimes it's not great to work with coworkers, but I kind of see through all this, you getting a better job where you can really shine down the road and then having a family, meeting someone, maybe even getting married. And I think the universe has this in store for you, but they were trying to push you, push you out a little sooner, though you were a little reluctant and like, well, I just don't know what to do. And then all of a sudden it happens this way where you get the news where, sorry, we have to lay you off or sorry, we're closing, this section's closing down, or whatever the case may be, and now you're kind of like, have to hurry up and find something. I'm, I'm sure you can, some of you be able to collect, but um, if you had done it this way, you could have kind of took your time and see wh what you wanted to do, where you wanted to go, what direction were you being guided and led to, star. But you're gonna figure it out. You're gonna figure it out, Gemini. So we have, because um, the judgment's in reverse, so you're definitely gonna figure it out here. So let's see, we have Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn, Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's the ending, unexpected. Expected, but not unexpected, kind of expected, but unexpected too, because as you can see, the face is kind of sideways, kind of looking up. So it's like somewhat expected, but kind of unexpected. But that's the ending. And there's the exciting new beginning right here with the Ace of Wands. So there you go. All right, Gemini, so let's get you some butterfly oracles. Again, Gemini, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist and list of readings I do here. Uh, more content on the channel. You're still going to get a ton of love readings. All right, so what else do we need to know here for Gemini? Self-employment. Hmm? Maybe some of you are going to own your own business or start doing something for yourself. Volunteer. It could be something where you're helping others. Hmm. 
it, it may not be literally volunteering. I mean, maybe some of you do volunteer, but it could be um, where you're helping others in some way. Could have to do maybe with healthcare. It says healthcare change. So it could be um, maybe working for yourself, something around healthcare where you're helping others. So that's kind of like that, you know, volunteer is about helping others as well. We have family changes. See, I told you something with through all this big change down the road here, you're going to end up better money. You may be working from home. Um, maybe some of you have a family already. Very supportive energy as well. If not, you're going to have a family down the road. And you may be like, oh my God, I don't even see, you know, that could be years down the road. But at the end of it, <laughs> you will end up maybe with this lifelong job, Ten of Pentacles, a family, and being very happy and content. It's kind of what I see here, Gemini. It could be a 10 year process, you know, by the time you get through this, you say you start your business, you become successful, you know, by the time you meet someone, you date someone, you get to know them, then you plan and then you settle down and then you finally where you want to be in life. Sometimes it's a 10 year process. Maybe not, but that's kind of what I feel here. All right, Gemini, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helps that resonate again. Everything's down below. Wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.